80 feet underground where we've just finished moving down, scaling some of the rocks down from overhead so that we can metal detect the veins. As soon as Tim gets this area ready, I'm going to show you guys a little bit of a geology lesson. So I know that in school we do geology and we read books and we, you know, we try and understand what Mother Nature and the Earth does, but I'm going to do a live geology lesson here in a minute and kind of give you a full rundown of why we're actually mining where we're at to look for the gold that we're after. So you can see here that there's a lot of manual work to gold mining. So the good thing Tim is young and strong. Have to throw rocks out of the way. And then what we're going to wind up doing is in this area right here, there is two different geological features happening. There is the old slate that got pushed up by the tectonic plates running into each other and creating the Sierra Nevada mountains. And then we have this igneous rock, which is called andesite. And you can see the veins that come into this, this andesite. And that's where we're looking for gold. The gold is always going to be on the contact between where the vein meets this sedimentary rock, which is slate that was used to be at the bottom of the ocean millions of years ago.